All right. Heavy rain. Heavy rain. Okay. Uh, how is my voice compared to the rain? Okay, so I did some testing and it should be fine. Let's see. So if I go to options and I go to graphics, it shouldn't crash. Whoa, advanced settings. Whoa, look at that. Holy crap. Holy crap. What's better, HBAO or HDAO? HB looks better to me, but like, what do you guys think? H-B-A-O. Ooh, oh man. All right, so. This is Heavy Rain. Uh, this was the PlayStation 3 game. And uh, it's David Cage's third game. It came out in 2000 and something, 2010. Very early into 2010. Um... And, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's, let me make sure it is this third game. David Cage. Omicron, the no man's, the nomad soul, and then Fahrenheit, and then Heavy Rain, Kara Demo, the Dark Sorcerer Demo, and then Beyond Two Souls in 2013, and then Detroit Become Human in 2018. So... We're, we're due for a new, uh, a new cage miss present, I think. Why don't we play Omicron? We're gonna play it at the end. At the end, we're gonna play it. But a 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 <sighs> So, Heavy Rain has nothing to do with Fahrenheit. So if you're expecting them to be linked in any way, they're not. Uh, I also kind of want to spoil something, but I don't think I will. I think we'll just we'll just keep going with it. Um, but like, yeah, there. Yeah, let's just let's, let's leave that alone. Uh, yeah, there's no uh, there's no connection at all. Did you finish Fahrenheit yesterday? Yes. I don't know if there's Easter egg links or anything like that. There might be. I don't know, but yeah. First playthrough? No, I've played this before. I haven't played uh, Beyond Two Souls, and I haven't played Detroit, and I haven't played Omicron, but I have played Fahrenheit, and I have played Heavy Rain before. I played Heavy Rain uh, at the end of 2013, I believe. Oh, man. I'm really tired today. Sorry, buddy. Uh, thank you, Cur Curio Twitch, for the 6 month resub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Renjay, for the 6 month resub as well. And thank you, it's me, George Lucas, for the nine-month resub. Thank you very much. It's me, George Lucas. Thank you, Zordrox, 100 bits. Wish you luck. Thank you, Fatal Cutie, for the nine-month resub. Thank you very much. Will this game be as crazy as Indigo? That, that's the spoiler that I almost said. Oh. I'm not going to answer that, sorry. I'm not going to answer that. In some ways, this game is worse than Indigo. In most ways, it's better. But in some ways, it's worse. Am I excited? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You have no idea. You have no idea. You have no idea. No idea. Uh, thank you, T Jones 107 for 17 month resub. Thank you, P Kill Boredom for the 100 bits. Thank you, Da Builder for the 13 month resub. Unlucky for some. Thank you, Sus or Us, pretty sus, for the 14 month resub. Thank you, Lanios or Lanios for the 3 month resub as well. So let's um, get another minute or two and then uh, and then we'll start. Is this the bad dad playthrough? I was thinking about that and I kind of looked it up. 
And, um... Apparently it's kind of hard to do the bad dad playthrough because... Uh, your choices don't matter. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> you can only be a little bit of a, of a bad dad. <coughs> Holy shit. Um... So when I said, am I going to pull for Al Albedo? Uh, no, I'm not going to pull for Albedo. I'm saving it for Ganyu. Because, um... Because she's a sucky buy. Of course, I'm not going to pull for Albedo. Do, 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 do. I have, I have, um... Banner pity on, uh... On the, the character banner right now. Because the last character I got on that was Duloc number 3. So, yeah. I, I can go for it. <sighs> do, 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 do. Thank you, Sergeant Stungle, 18 for the 23 month resub. Thank you, Last Isis, I think, Last Isis for the 2 month resub. Thank you, uh, M Wife, or some say I'm Wife for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Pathologically Fresh for the 7 month resub. And thank you, Gamtheus, for the six-month resub. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's get into it. I can't move. I can't move the, the controller. All right, maybe I can move the controller now? Okay, now I can. All right. All right, new story. New story. I walked around for a little bit to make sure that it would work, and it did. So now we're going into new story. It's the new squirrel. All right, new. Here we go. Quantic Dream. <sighs> uh, welcome to the party, computer fan. Welcome to the place for everybody. Welcome to the playthrough. time you can listen to what your character thinks by pressing and holding down LT. Alright, there we go. Shower. I better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. Okay. Well, what is he thinking now? Apparently he has no thoughts right now. It said any time. I guess he has no thoughts right now. Alright. Damn. What a, what a nice home. Fucking idyllic as fuck. I wonder what's gonna happen to this man. All right. Gone shopping. I'll pick the kids up from school at lunchtime, and then I'll come home to get things ready for Jason's birthday party. Don't work too hard. I love you.
Doesn't everyone just get like a couple couple reps in whenever they can, whenever they're doing something? You you just gotta get the reps in, man. Oh god. Oh, it's it's just dawned on me right now that we actually have to play this game. Oh again. Oh for fuck's sake. Chat, I don't like this game. I oh god. Yeah, we can juggle those balls. We're not going to though. Fuck it. <laughs> I better take a shower and get dressed before I go downstairs. No one's here. Just go downstairs. All right. Let's go pee. Have I played it before? Yeah, that's the worst thing. I've played it before. No, I'm not flushing it. Someone can find that later. Alright, here we go. Oh, no. What is this face? What? <laughs> what is this face? Looking good, Ethan. Looking good. It's Ethan, right? Looking good, Ethan. Looking good. All right. It's time to brush our teeth so hard our gums are gonna bleed. It's gonna be like that scene in Fight Club. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Right stick in ten direction. Ooh. All right. Now up and down. Cause who the fuck does that? Ooh. All right, we did it. Brush too hard. Well, who just puts their whole mouth under the faucet? You stop doing that after you're 10, bro. What the fuck? Turn your head to see which actions are available. Slightly move right stick to look at the shower. All right, I'm looking at the shower. How rich is this guy? This place is a palace. Imagine if it was an apartment, it'd be even bigger. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Who thought this was good? Yeah, let's fucking have a dry yourself with a towel mini game. God fucking damn it. What is he looking at? He kind of looks like Archer right now. What the fuck is he doing? Alright. Now can we get dressed? Where's the get dressed action minigame? Like, it's a tutorial for all the actions, but do you really need a tutorial for this? Like, do you even need them at all? This is gonna be such a negative playthrough. <laughs> nah, I don't wanna look at it. Fuck it. Nah, 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 nah.
Why are you wearing your shoes inside your house? What is this, the UK? Like, what the fuck? What's the shiny piece here? I would like to look at the shiny piece. Look at the shiny piece. No, it's just shiny. That That's just part of how it is. Okay. Alright, I'm leaving. That is not how doors open. supposed to be doing? Alright, I hold, I hold up. Alright. Oh, I have to hold it. Okay, good thing we have this tutorial. Alright. Okay, we're creeping on the neighbors? Is that what we're doing? Alright, I'm holding it up. Alright, and now we're doing it again. No, I can't let go. Alright, we go up, and then we do the left stick? No, I'm holding up. Okay, I'm holding up. I'm holding up. Yummy. Oh, we have thoughts now. Nice day outside. Maybe I could squeeze in a little garden time. Didn't that kind of sound like Microsoft Sam? I've got some time before Grace and the kids get back. Better get some work done. Maybe I can squeeze in some garden time. Okay. Oh, eat the cake, eat the cake, eat the cake. Where's the duck soup? <sighs> wow, the details. You have to shake the orange juice before you drink it. <coughs> Who shakes you? I shake juice. You're supposed to shake juice. It moves all the pulp around. Wow, that's an ex expensive coffee maker. Holy shit. Yo, what kind of psychopath just drinks the coffee right after making it? You need to let it cool down first. Where's the duck soup? Everything he does, there's either I'm criticizing it or chat's criticizing it, and then either me or chat goes, "Wait, no, I do that." <laughs> we're we're learning a lot today. <laughs> okay, Grace, this this birthday party looks pretty fucking done to me. All right, let's look outside creepily. All right. Creative architecture. Did we write this? Yep, it's architecture. Damn, I really like that one. This is my favorite book to flip through while the kids are gone. Damn, I really enjoyed that. Time to put it back. Nice. Alright, let's go get some garden. Oh, let's put on some music. Happy birthday, Jason. I want you to go behind the stair. Why won't Why won't you listen to me? Where are you going? He's He's gone off script. He's just doing whatever he wants now. All right, let's go this way. Can we watch some TV? Where is the TV? No! 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 We didn't squeeze in our quote-unquote garden time. God damn it! Dad, <laughs> hey, Dad. take it easy. You're gonna knock me over. Uh, so this is your big day, huh? Am I grown up now? Hmm, 10 no. years old, that's not exactly grown up, but you're getting there. Now, can I drive your car? And I think you're gonna have to wait a little while for that. 
This is a real can family can, interaction. Can you please help me? Nope. I'm coming. What is this door? <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for helping me out, Ethan. <laughs> I've been so excited since this morning. I could hardly keep them in line in the supermarket. <laughs> How's your day been? Managed to get any work done? <laughs> what is this teeny tiny TV in this in this amazingly large house? I guess that means no. <laughs> He's just watching fucking anime. What? Okay. Seems you don't want to talk about it. Oh, we closed. We closed. Uh, we closed it. They went outside. All right, let's go outside. All right, here we go. How's it going, kids? Hey, Dad, are you gonna come yeah, and play Dad, with us, please? Come, play with us. come please. on. Okay. Okay. Hey, five minutes, boys. Okay. After that, we've got to eat because your friends are gonna be here. Okay, soon. we promise, Mom. Who wants to go first? Me first. No, me, me first. first. <laughs> Easy, fellas. You can both have a turn. Me first! Me first! No, me first! All right, Jason, let's do the helicopter. <laughs> it's my turn now! It's my turn! No. No. All right, we have to do it. Okay. Press and hold down each button appearing as they disappear. Until they all disappear. Okay, Sean, get ready. Here we go. Careful, hang on. Fraction is requiring strength or speed. Press the indicate button repeatedly yeah. until it disappears. Did this with Leo, he'd rip my arm off. Oh no! This time you're done for. You're gonna pay for all your crimes, evil one. Ha! <laughs> Surrender, weakling. Say your prayer. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for the button to appear. Oh no, I, what, we actually have to win? Come on, Jason! Hoi-ya! Give up! I am victorious! Watch out! Yo. Oh no, we lost. Attack, attack! Yo! Whoa. Whoa. That yeah, that's great! Yeah, Jason! Whoa! Whoa. Oh, 
in trouble for sure. Food's ready, kids. You coming in? We're coming! And that's the end of my story. I couldn't beat my kid in a sword fight, and my wife left me out of embarrassment. So we never went to the mall. I'll never wonder what would have happened if we stayed together and went to the mall that day. Sean? Lunch is ready. I'll go get him. Where'd he go? Why isn't Sean at the table? He should be around here somewhere. Sean? What's up? It's Merlin. He's dead. Oh, shit! He's dead and it's all my fault. No, it's not, Sean. Of course it's not your fault. I bash him in, in the head I'd against the wall. If you could come back to life. The bird was fine a second ago. Maybe this is his fault. There are some things which just have to happen. Even if you don't want them to. It's not fair, Dad. It's not fair. I know. I know. Well, I'm having fun. Uh oh. <laughs> it's you that I'm chasing. Press X to Jason. Oh, I'd like to have a quick look at some shoes for Sean. Can you watch Jason for a minute? No. I promise he won't be long. Sure, no problem. Man, Sean gets new shoes, and the bird. We're not going anywhere, are we, Jason? Damn. Come on, honey. Still got a nice ass. Damn, I'm a lucky guy. Huh. Oh shit! Oh no! Jason! Oh no! Jason! Jason! Press A to Jason! 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 He couldn't have gone far. Jason! 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 Oh, that looks good. Jason! 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 <laughs> Jason! <laughs> Did we break it? Jason. <laughs> Jason. 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 Perfect. Jason. <laughs> Jason. 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 All right, I found him. All right, see you later, kid. Jason. <laughs> Jason! 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 
Jason! Jason! <laughs> How do you run? Jason! 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 Oh man! Alright, before we get to this. Thank you, Gamphius, for the 5 month resub. Thank you, Shut Up Maddie, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thank you also for the new sub from Jesse Rosalina. Thank you, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, uh, Zymon, Zymon Nero. Zemo Nero, maybe? One of those for the 4 month resub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Fangs Up 7, for the 2 month resub. Thank you, Master Mythical Zero, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, perhaps Mumbo, for the 8 month resub. Thank you, Teeth, for the 7 month resub. Thank you, Spiff14, for the 2 and 3 sub as well. Thank you very much. I'll press 1 to Jason. 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 Okay. L let us see how shit of a father Ethan is, having already lost his son once finds him and is like, okay, sure, what's gonna happen now? Jason, you really shouldn't run a rock like that, you know? Do you know how terrifying it is to lose your kid? Lot of people in here. Please, Dad, can I have one? <laughs> I would really love to have one. Please, Dad, come on. Okay, let's go buy a balloon. Great! Hey, Jim, what's your name? Jason. Jason. Which balloon would you like, Jason? Uh, Jason. The red one. Here you go. Jason. <laughs> That'll be two dollars, sir. Jason, wait for me. Wait for your dad, son. Dad, son. It's really crowded in here. Keep the change. And then he loses him again. It is impossible to try on a pair of shoes with this crowd. Where's Jason? He was here a second ago. I bought him a balloon. I turned around and he just disappeared. What do you mean disappeared? Stay here. I'll go get him. I'll be right back. Jason! 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 I should really come back and get the suit Jason! after I find him. Oh, I can't look Jason! at it anymore. Now it's urgent. Jason! 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 <laughs> I don't think I can run, no. Jason! 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 <gasps> Quick, I need to go downstairs. Jason! 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 <laughs> Jason! 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 <laughs> how are there suddenly Jason! so many people? <laughs> Look how many Jason! people there are! Jason! 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 I'm holding forward, I don't understand what it wants from me. Jason! Alright, we're doing it. Alright. Jason! Jason! 
Jason! Jason! Where'd the balloon go? There it is. Jason! Watch where you're going! Jason! 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 <laughs> Where's he going? What, what is this kid? He's 10! Jason! It makes no sense! Shit! Shit! Jason! Jason! Dad. Why did- why was that two the same? He's okay. Jason! Jason! Oh my god, no! No! No, Jason! Oh my god, no! No! Oh no, the balloon! No! Notice how the car hit the dad in the back? It, it didn't even hit Jason, and yet Jason's the one who's dead? I, okay. The car wasn't even going that fast. Why did he cross the street? Like, it's just so stupid. Nothing about this makes sense. Like, how do you lose the kid twice? Why does the kid is like, well, off to go off my journey downstairs with my red balloon, gonna show it to the world, gonna leave the mall, gonna cross the street to go look in the paper store window. Oh, there's my dad, time to run across the street. How, what shitty parenting, you didn't teach your kids how to cross the street? Even Finn knows better than this, Finn's five. What the fuck? This kid's 10, and we know that because he just had his birthday. Have I played this before? Unfortunately, yes. Damn, somewhere, you know, Jason just said, and that's where my story ends. All right, it's starting to rain. It's just such a shit setup. Like, if you want to kill the kid, then just make it more, you know, plausible. It doesn't make any sense. Watch children. It doesn't make any sense. Like, how is this the best they came up with? Like, losing your kid at the mall. Like, that, that's a good, uh, like, spike of anxiety. That makes sense. It's relatable. That, that's a that's a good idea. But then, like, to lose him a second time, and then he just like, I'm just gonna go across the street. Like, what the fuck? These people are sad because it's raining. I have not played all the DK games now, just these two. The first two I've played. I've played uh, Fahrenheit and I've played this one. I've not played Omicron, so that's like like David Cage Game Zero. I have not played uh, Beyond Two Souls or Detroit. Is it true that David Cage said about Detroit Become Human that it's like Blade Runner, but if the robots were the good guys? That has to be a made up quote, right? He didn't actually say that, did he? There's, there's no way he actually said that. his razor anymore. Hi, Sean. Hi, Dad. Just 
seems like he doesn't really want to talk. I know he doesn't like being the last one left at school. <laughs> I know he doesn't like being the last kid left. <laughs> I thought I thought that's what he was gonna say. <laughs> and I was like, there's no way. And he said that. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's better. Okay, okay. <laughs> I really thought that's where it was going. <laughs> I'm late. Again. Heavy rain. It's been the same for weeks. Let's go back home. Sean's waiting for me in the car. I better go back. Whoa, seatbelt. I don't know what any of these mean though, game. That's the problem. All right, hey, how's it going? Was, was was that how it was for all of the credits? Like the last word was all on capitals. Damn, this is on an S M dot two SSD. By the way, maybe it crashed. Okay, so the first time I played this game, I couldn't figure out what it wanted for me, so I just went out into the backyard and played basketball. <laughs> like, he wouldn't talk to me. Maybe it bugged out. I don't know. Maybe it bugged out on me or whatever. I don't know what it was. So I just, I just went outside and played basketball. <laughs> I didn't feed the kid dinner. We didn't do his homework. Like, there's a list. We didn't do any of it. I just went outside and played basketball. What do you say we play together for a while? I'd rather watch TV. Wow. How are things at school? Is your teacher nice? Everything's fine, Dad. So, you want to talk a little? Talk about what? I don't know, about you, your friends. How things are going? Nothing special. Sean, do you want to do your homework now? Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while longer. We'll do it later, okay? All right, I'll come back a little later. <laughs> I wrote a reminder note on the board in the kitchen. It's still early. We'll see about the homework later. All right, fourth, Sean. Like, do you really need to write the name of the kid? All right, fourth, we're 30. All right, we're, what time is it? What time is it? Oh no, we're, we're already late. Oh shit, you want this kid, do you want a snack? Snack, do you want a snack? It's time for your snack. Are you hungry? I guess, uh. All right, what do you want? Let's see what we can find in the kitchen. Yeah, let's go. All right, duck soup, here we go. Duck soup. What, what the fuck is the pink? Oh, it's a granola? All right, that's it. Here you go. Here's a yummy granola bar snack. Here you go. Here, Sean. Here's your snack. Thanks, Dad. All right, what time is it now? I don't even have any time for basketball. Is what a shit dad would say. We always have time for basketball. 
I remember it was like, like the camera angle was from really far away too, like it didn't make any sense. Did they change that in this re-release? Time for some basketball. Yeah! Alright, let's see if it's time for homework now. Alright, what time is it now? Oh, not even. It's only 5.30. We can play basketball for way longer. Alright. Bedtime at 8? What the hell's this? Alright, let's watch TV with the kid. So you like anime? Well, he took one bite of his- You're getting crumbs all over the couch! What are you doing? It's gonna be sticky in that part. G kid! If you're done with it, put it in the garbage. Oh! Bless you. Say bless you. Oh man, he's nervous. Oh, now he's lying on top of the granola bar. Sean's sneezing. I think he's catching a cold. Sean hasn't done his homework yet. Grace has Sean this weekend. Seems like he can't wait to get back to his mother. Well, like, look around. Like... Oh, what's in the fridge? Is there duck soup? Oh, more orange juice! Nice. Let's shake it first. Well, what if the kid wants so you just drinking right from the carton for like a savage? I mean I do that too, but I'm not proud of it. Alright, put it back in. Alright, what else do we want to drink? Should we get our brewski on? Alright, what time is it? It's almost time for homework. I remember like the camera being so far away with doing the basketball. It's weird. All right, it's time for homework now. The chalkboard says so. All right, don't sneeze on me. Homework. Sean, do you want to do your homework now? Please, Dad, let me watch TV a little while longer. No. We'll do it later, okay? No, we're doing it now. Shit, A. Hey. I think we should just get right to it. Then it's done and out of the way. Now, get your bag and get set up in the kitchen. I'll help you. There's a light? Going up, like, does that, does that make it so, thank you, does that make it so, like, we help, or does that make it, we leave? No, we leave. Alright, have fun with your homework, nerd, I'm gonna go play some basketball. Yeah, time to shoot another hoop. It's raining and I'm choosing this over you. Alright, here we go. Here we go. RB. LB. I'm gonna make the major leagues. Oh man, two for two. Fuck, we're doing so well. We're so good at this. All right, back in. Dad, I finished. Can I go watch TV? 
Sorry, what's that? I was working on my career. What? What do you want? You want to go? You want to go watch TV? Let me see. Let me have a look. Pretty good. Looks like you're done. <laughs> Off you go. How long was that? Oh, it didn't take long at all. It's dinner time. I better make something for Sean. No dinner. Come to think of it, if he's not asking for anything, it must be because he's not hungry. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And just because they say they're hungry doesn't mean they want something either. Yeah, all right. <laughs> like, I, I see how your, your other kid didn't know how to fucking cross the street. You fucking failure as a dad. What the fuck, man? Holy shit. All right, where do we get the food from? Where is it? All right, are you, hey, are you, are you hungry? Child. Do you want me to get your dinner? Oh yeah, I'm really hungry. You idiot. Okay, I'll go see what I can find. I'll call you when it's ready. All right, roasted chicken or pizza pizza all the way. I'm just gonna sit here. All right, that was quick. Who cuts pizza with a fucking butter knife? You can come now, Sean. Your meal is ready. I'm coming. All right, let's turn to what the fuck was that slide? All right, let's turn it off. All right. Well, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go shoot some more hoops. All right, have fun. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Bum 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 bum. Oh no! Oh, three for three. God damn it! Three for three. He he got a snack. He got his dinner. He did his homework, and I got to shoot three hoops. Damn, this is going so well. Gonna sleep well tonight. Gonna sleep well tonight. Wow, better AI than Cyberpunk. Alright. Are we not gonna eat? Do, do we not eat anymore? All right, it's almost eight o'clock. It's 7.30. Let me just sit here and watch you for a bit and then we're gonna go to bed. All right. <laughs> this is so creepy. Oh my God. All right, let's go in the other chair and see what it's like. Alright, what time is it now? Is it time for bed? No, almost. Isn't there a part where you have to get a medicine or something? Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? Do you do that at bedtime or do you do that now?
Looking good, Ethan. Alright, where's the medicine? Is there no medicine? Maybe it's in the second bathroom. Maybe we can't do it anymore. All right, it's gotta be bedtime now. Come on, Sean. It's time for bed. I'm not tired yet. Can I stay up a little longer? No. Now, that's not very reasonable, is it? You have school tomorrow. You have to get some sleep. All right, I'm going. Are you coming with me? There's, there's, brush your there's no way your this would be that easy. I'll come up. No way. Eight is really early. For, he's what? How long has it been since since the other one won? I think I think he's like he must be close to ten, right? That's such an early bedtime for a ten year old. Oh, okay, he brushes it by himself. All right. I guess they start doing that when they're older. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Something to look forward to. Night, Sean. My teddy! I haven't got my teddy, Dad! You must have left it somewhere in the house. Do you have any idea where it could be? No, Dad. Please, I can't sleep without him. That's too bad, Sean. <laughs> Time to sleep. Now. Oh no, Dad. Please, I need my teddy. No, we'll find it in the morning. <laughs> now go to sleep. Mom would never put me to bed without Teddy. Why are you mean like that? It's not my fault that Jason is gone. It's not my fault. All right, now you go find the Teddy and bring it to him to keep him on his toes. All right, let's go. No, we can't. Oh shit, is this it? Oh, this is it! Oh shit! So soon! Alright, here we go! Oh no! He blacked out and now he has origami in his hand! Oh shit! We're the origami killer! What else could that be? What else could that mean? Oh no! It's us! Oh no! So this is a load screen. I think uh, on the PlayStation, this would install part of the game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 oh. 
Alright, was it not ready for the uh the loading? Alright. Alright, what's this guy's name again? Shelby or something? I can't remember this guy's name. Lauren Winter. Lauren Winter. Ring any bells? Nope. Can't say it does. Been looking for weeks. Hope I hit pay dirt this time. Guess I better take the stairs. Guess I better take the stairs. Oh, that Lauren Winter. Third floor, last door on the left at the end of the corridor. F five that's it five bucks really that's it that like you'll sell someone out for a twitch sub bruh like like really R really that god damn all right okay cool all right let's go I don't remember this part. Oh, I do! I do remember this part. Jason, where do we go? Do, 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 do. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. Fine by me. What's the point then? Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings, it's over, okay? Damn. Yeah, she keeps the place pretty ship shape. <laughs> I've seen whores that didn't give a damn about their living conditions. I'm gonna have to play my cards right if I'm gonna squeeze anything out of her. Nice looking girl, but too young to be the sort of girl you find holed up in a dive like this. Hey, she thinks I'm a client. Hey. What you got in the fridge? Oh, the controls are just like... Okay, there we go. Scott Shelby, there we go. All right. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Actually, I'm not a customer. Oh, well, that's that over. Cop. I should have known. What you want, a freebie? Is that it? My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Persist. Compassionate. Convince. Compassionate. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. Oh, yeah? You know what it feels like to find your own son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. Persist. Conv convince. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? Trick by. Uh, by. I bought ten minutes of your time, didn't I? All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. You want to pay me to tell you about my son? Is that it? You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Get the fuck out! She sounded really quiet. Anyone else? Oh, oh, I'm taking the money back then. Well, if you remember anything... The smallest detail. Give me a call. 
I gotta get out of here. I didn't learn squat. Well, worth a try. No point in pushing her. She's not gonna tell me anymore. Pum, 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 pum. <laughs> oh yeah, he has uh, he has the asthma. I forgot about that. What do you want, asshole? Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. Well, he seems like a nice man. I guess we should probably go. <sighs> you again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh! on all over again. Shit. Okay, that one I did do right. I wonder how long it can go on for if you mess one up every so often. Right? Better than him, I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. So presentation is much better than uh, Indigo Prophecy, but uh, I feel like some of the voice acting and some of the delivery is also like still pretty bad. Um, yeah, I don't know. The audio is is kind of weird too. Press and hold on the indicated button so his until until they disappear. I don't even remember this guy's name. Oh, we're up to seven uh, point seven inches now. All right. You all ready for some more cyberpunk? Oh, no, he needs blue 
más. <laughs> Noted that name somewhere. What was it? Blake. Lieutenant Carter Blake. Yeah, that's it. God, my hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. Reporters. Already. Huh. You seem well informed. Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. I'm really gonna love it here. That looks pretty good over there, huh? The light against the wall with the rain, that looks pretty good. Yes, Jill. A body was found here on this path of great time early this morning. The police are still searching the scene and questioning anyone who might have seen something, but no information has been to be yet concerning the identity of the victim. Of course, everyone's wondering if the body is that of Jeremy Bowles and has the Oregon Tour struck again. In any case, our team is on the scene. We will keep you informed of the live report as soon as we have any information. I'm Brittany Sanders for iTunes. The zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman J. Okay, tell me if it's too loud. Jaden, FBI? You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Just drives away. <laughs> You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. If I remember correctly, he's the worst FBI agent ever. He gets no respect. No one gives a shit about Jaden. Like, it's just like... It's uphill the whole way. Like, no one gives a fuck about him. Here we go. Amazing. Video memo recording. Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden. Tuesday, Naman. October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. Drowner, gotta be. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. <laughs> I thought you Thanks. pointed the wrong way. <laughs> I 
Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. Norman. I went by your office this morning. They told me to be here. Now, if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Yeah. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Origami. You got that origami. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. It's okay. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned, like the others. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Do you have any leads? My men are going over to scene with a fine tooth comb. If the killer left anything behind, we'll find it. Tony! I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. They're uh, at the gate, man. They're at the gate. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? Nah. You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. We're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. Oh. No. No, of course not. That's, oh. that's not what I meant. Awkward. Listen, I, I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Wait, did they set up a coffee hey, table? Jane, you come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. Is that a coffee you're drinking there? Coffee. There's some in the thermos behind you. Help yourself. Want some coffee? No cup. No, there's no cup. Oh, now there's a cup. Wait, is he using the same cup? When did they find the body? Excuse me, but who are you exactly? Norman Jaden. Norman. FBI. If you want to ask questions, you should speak to Lieutenant Blake, sir. Lousy weather, huh? Does it always rain like this? It rains every fall. Doesn't it do that where you come from? Well, yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Pretty chilly, huh? Now who's the cool one? <laughs> My vision is augmented. Harry Cameron, sample of no interest. Comes from one of the policemen present on the wasteland. Well, I'm having fun. Very common. Traces of footprints leading toward the body. They don't look like those of the police. No correlation with the body for the moment. Where is the body? I thought the body was back there. Airy comment. Airy comment. Traces of blood detected on the fence behind the railroad line. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Yep.
Damn. Now we're all muddy and shit. Getting over it. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, good thing we didn't fall on the screen track. Alright, let's try again. Alright, All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh man. Oh, what if we fall from up here? What happens then? Oh, 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 no. are we gonna fall down both? Oh, good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh we're good. Okay, good. Phew. That was a close one. Good thing we got our glasses on. Oh, oh no, that, that one wasn't on purpose. Shit. Yeah, yeah, this is still going. Oh. How are we getting down? Surely there should be a cop up here. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Harry, comment. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. What do you mean car? Don't you mean path? Time to go down. Oh no! Oh, fucking hell, man. This is a bad day. All right, let's go. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! down here fast. Did we look at this one? Harry, comment. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Oh, we, 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 this is the, where we came from. Never mind. Oh, we almost died! Holy shit! Whoa! What the fuck?
I'm heading back to the office. You staying? No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. Why the hell is there blood here? There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. Way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. The body is still here. Wait, where's the body? Whoa, 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 where's the body? We should go look at the body, shouldn't we? I thought the body was over here. Like he brought us over here for the for the body, didn't he? No? Maybe it's over here where the spotlight is. I thought maybe this was like Blake's personal little 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 area, you know? Like they set up a coffee table, who knows? Harry, comment. The victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Yeah. A small origami figure in the right hand. Wait. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. God, are we being possessed again like an indigo prophecy? That has to be the only explanation, The victim is right? Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Dear God. Superficial wound on the right thigh. The blood is identical to that on the fence. That was quick. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Think I've seen all there is to see. Because there's no other way that, that Ethan would have an origami figure after blacking out, right? And in that area too, on that corner, I mean like there's no other way. Like and it's not like they're just never gonna explain that, right? There's there's no way. There's no way. Alright, let's go. There's no way that they would have the main character black out and have an origami figure in their hand. And there's someone called the origami figure killer going around. And yes, and that unexplained time. And he was in an area where a body has been found. There's no way that they just wouldn't explain that, right? There's no way. All right, let's go. the bulldozer dun 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 bat insect butterfly two bears high fiving I see kinda like just an insect. An insect Wolf rat fox I see Batman uh, wolf. A wolf's head. Two lobsters screaming at the sky. I guess crab is closest to that. A crab. Two deaths. Yeah, death, yeah. Death. Death. That's, like... 
pseudoscience, right? Like, ink block tests are complete bullshit, aren't they? I like them, though. They're cool. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. I mean, he is. It's my fault Jason is dead. Yeah, it is. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. Exactly! It was an accident. No! Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? He's a very solitary kid, you know, very focused within himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I mean, it is kind of bullshit saying saying to him that it's his, it's his fault when the kid's actions are completely unrealistic. I stopped living at oh, the same shit. time Jason did. And that car ran into us. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? <laughs> I sometimes have these <laughs> blackouts, times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness <gasps> sometime later, but I'm someplace else, and I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. Alright, one second chat. I have the hero on here Ethan. and now it's like sweltering. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic... Fans on the low side. Usually, uh, the microphone doesn't pick it up, but if it's distracting, let me know. I'll turn off. Accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. <sighs> He's a really bad doctor, huh? What is this office? He's the Oregon, the gammy killer. He's been planning these false memories in his patient. Do you want to eat something? How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? <laughs> Late to school because your dad caught down. That takes me back. <laughs> Damn. Oh, no, you, you missed school. Here's your punishment. You don't have to go to school. Yeah, that makes sense. Aren't you going to go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. What is this kid's accent? Is something the matter, Sean? No. I'm all right. Do you hear that beat, Sean? Do you hear it? Oh man, we gotta go find where that's coming from. No motive, no crime. 
A boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? <laughs> Gotta be able to improve my catch. What the fuck, Richard? I understood that reference. Nice. Fenton. Fenton. I get no, why are we doing it again? No, I don't want to do it again. I'm done with the boomerang. I'm done. I'm done with the boomerang. I don't. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't want to play that game anymore. Yeah, same. See you later, kid. I'm gonna go see if there's room on the swings. Wait, are there no swings? Oh, there's the swings. You wanna go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. for the strings for you push him by his back what are you doing you can't any get any good force on the swing the guard is back and push what are you doing <laughs> Move to Moncton if you're that impressed by that. In 10 years, you can be one of those fucks that just goes around putting fireworks everywhere. You know what we should do this weekend? What well, should we do the same thing we do every weekend? Let's go light some fireworks. Oh, yeah, I love fireworks, bro. For those for like 10 seconds, it's fucking great. Alright, are you just gonna stand in front? Other people want to use the swing set. He seems to be having fun. It's been a long time since I've seen that smile. I'll find something else to do with him. Let's use this thing. What about that merry-go-round? I bet I can push you so fast you won't be able to stay on it. Great! That sounds safe. Go on, Dad, as fast as you can. Once again, you don't need to you don't need to do that. You just put your foot on it and push it away. And every time it comes around on, on the same thing, you just put kick it again. Astronauts, though. You can you just build up speed every kick. What like Ethan, you're just, just a, the worst fucking dad. Like what the fuck? You know nothing about this shit. Hmm. 
He seems to be having fun. It's been a long time since I've seen that smile. All right, time to leave. I'll find something else to do with him. It's getting dark. It might start to rain soon. I would like to do the seesaw trick now. Can we can we use this place? I like a packet of strawberry flavored chewies, please. Thanks. All right. Where is he? <gasps> it's here. No, 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 no. Let's do the seesaw trick. All right. Hey, have you seen my kid? Hey. I got you some chewies. I hate strawberry. <laughs> Thanks. It was nice of you anyway. <laughs> the character chose that. The character, like, it's <laughs> not I even us. I've been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah. One asshole kid. No, that, that, that's what kids are like, man. Kids don't have filters. If you Come give on, a kid Dad, something they don't fly. like, that they're gonna tell you, man. Like they don't like strawberries. They don't, sometimes, like something that they really enjoyed the day before, like they like blueberries one day, they don't like blueberries the next day. That's just how kids are. It's fine. <laughs> Let's go get, I'll go get you some candies that aren't strawberry. All right, another packet of strawberry chews, please. What, you're not replacing your fuck up? Fuck it, look, his arms are crossed, like, no, I'm not doing it. Nope, nope, he's gonna eat those strawberry chews. All right, let's leave. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. You know, I didn't mean what I said before. I do like strawberry cheese. I was just angry. You were right to be angry. I wasn't very nice to you either. The voice acting's bad, right, chat? Like, it's not just me? Like, it, it's... It's if it, it sounds like the first t line reading, right? If like this is the first time he's ever said these lines, right? It's really bad. Hey dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. What kind of park just has a carousel like this? One, please. For who? Just a dollar. Just a dollar? Like, how are they... How are they like operating this? Like, the, like this thing for just a I guess they get a lot of people here. Like, and then it turns and he's gone. some origami. Ah! Ah. Ah. Shh. 
shit, I should've let it hit me. I've got to find Sean. I left him alone in the park. Sean! Where's Sean? No, I don't believe it. I couldn't have... I just can't remember a thing. I... How the hell did I get here? Again, you have blackouts, bro. Like, why didn't you... What? Take Sean back to his mom. That's impossible. I just shut my eyes a second ago. Play some basketball. Come on. Sean! 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 The whole time it was in my hand. God, I can't wait for that to be explained. God, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait for it to be explained. There's no way it could never be explained. So what is? What's the explanation? God, man, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. When it happens, it's going to be like, whoa, an explanation. Holy shit. I eat paper and poop out origami. Did you finish Ironhide? Yeah, we did. We did finish Ironhide. Alright, we're an hour and 54 minutes. Uh, but we did like a five minute like intro while I was getting my window set up. So um, let's see if we can get a little bit into the scene. And then we'll stop for a break. Sean! Sean! Do you think it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. Let's get the formalities out of the way so I can get back to some real work. I could go for a little Larry time right about now. God, I'm bored. I hate having nothing to do. I gotta see Captain Perry. Orders are orders. You know what? Gee, you know, I hate internal politics bullshit. You know what's gonna really make them, uh, you know, uh, respect me? If I play my game right here. Here I go. Yeah, this is gonna be fine. All right. Time to put my shades on. All right, time to put my glove on. All right, here we go. Yeah. 
Nice. Yeah, this doesn't look weird. I wish it would just cut away for one of these throws to someone watching him and seeing nothing. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. Hey, Jaden, are you coming or what? I haven't got all day. See my assistant. We'll talk later. <laughs> What, he's just fucking gone! He's gone! Alright, cool. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Sorry, I... I don't have any chance. No problem. Maybe next time round. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. Agent Jaden! Are you coming? This? This is my office? It's pretty big. That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Alright, where's the vending machine so I can use some change and she'll sneak up behind me and be like, no change, huh? Okay, time to work. Go, go over there. I want you to go and go, go here. All right. I want you to look at the, po you can't, you can't, you're not allowed to go in. Oh, you can. You just don't like to. Okay, cool. All right. We did it. Just sweep up some cobwebs. This is fine. What the fuck is your problem? Wow. Very mature. All right. Done. Time for a break. Oh. Time to set up lighthouses. Wow. More like a big cupboard. Well, I wanted a quiet place to work, and it certainly looks like I got it. No time to lose. Gotta get down to work. First, analyze the case files. All right, is there music in the Ari thing? Step one, change the office.
Oh no, we're underwater. You know, the origami killer can't get us underwater because paper just, you know, just falls apart. All right, let's go. Let's go with the space one. There we go. All right, we're in space. Cause our our intellect is out of this world. Cause we're in the FBI. FBI. Oh, I'm way behind on saying thank you to people. I'm sorry. Uh, thank you, Clipping Jet, for the two month three sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zay Junior, for the twenty eight month three sub. Thank you, Megpoid Nebri, for the two month three sub. Osiris Reaper for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Nestor Custo Custodi Custodio. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Five hundred bits. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dom.com, for the 13 month resub. Not a robot, 4444, for the 2 month resub. I believe you, you're not a robot. Eddie is bored for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, Eddie is bored. Top Lolly for gifting a sub to Snitch. I don't know what, what, what Snitch is going on, but uh, thank you, Top Lolly. Uh, Eternal Vein for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Eternal Vein. One Trip Man, nice, for the 27 month resub. 8pots86 for the 28 month resub. Thank you. Thank you to Tough Tough 50 for the 3 month resub. The Brass Dog for the new sub. Welcome, the Brass Dog. Thank you very much. T tiefling Trickster. It's Tiefling, right? Not Tiefling. It's Tiefling, I think, for the 100 bits. Thank you very much. And thank you, Mulzy, for the new sub as well that just came in right now. Thank you very much, Mulzy. Uh, we're going to take a five minute break. Go brush your teeth. Go walk around. If you've been sitting the whole time, you should be walking around. You shouldn't sit for longer than two hours at a time. So uh, go take a quick quick walk around. I'll be back in five.
hello. So, we are pretty much done with the intro sections of this game now, I think. Uh, things are going to pick up now. And I remember at this point playing it that I was very intrigued because I didn't know where it was going. And uh, I didn't know that I'd already seen one of the biggest problems because I thought they would explain it. Um, at this point, I remember being annoyed by only the, the stuff we're seeing right now. Uh, as cool as it looks, it just seems completely unnecessary. It just seems like way too like, oh, we're a video game, so we need, we need wacky shit. Just like completely bonkers. Like this is how you look at the crime scenes running around hitting this button instead of just looking around with your eyes. And then like, here, we're gonna play with this ball and here we're gonna, we're gonna put this shit in our office, you know? Um, so I'm not a, I wasn't a big fan of that, but uh, playing it for the first time at this point, I was I was quite on board. Like, uh, it's a bit of a s slow opening. Not a bit, it is a slow opening. And I'm usually okay with that. I'm okay with, uh, with slow burners, but yeah. So uh, apart from the voice acting, I think this is um, better than Indigo Prophecy. Um, but Indigo Prophecy uh, also starts quite well with uh, with its intriguing opening. I would say that Indigo Prophecy's first two scenes are better than this one's, but uh, then it just kind of goes like <laughs> what we saw. Uh, anyway, um, before we get back into it, thank you. Uh... Okay, it's it's C U C, so it's gonna sound like I'm saying something else, but maybe that's the point. Um, Kook, there we go. We got away with it. Kook, capitalism. Thank you for the new sub. Do you hang out with Bill? Bill Nye. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I didn't click back into the game. There we go. Clues map. How are you doing that with your other hand that doesn't have the glove on? That's not right. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, age between nine and thirteen. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand. An orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. I mean, is that just a coincidence? Or does, the, or, or does Ethan... I mean, the origami killer just like like walk around the crime scene after you know within six hours going hey body over here body over here oh hey hey come over here oh look i found something and then he just disappears like like how 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 is that how does that happen all right uh do we analyze all right let's analyze it some more there is always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found and all the victims disappeared in the fall The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. How do you know that? An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. Uh, 
Uh, do we have any clues? Nice. This really streams or streams line the work. Definitely. Definitely streamlined. The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. That means nothing to me. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Hmm. A common species. That doesn't help much. Okay, do we have some geoanalysis to do now? Oh, the orchid is God. a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. Orchid. Yeah, that's a good point, chat. How do tires tell you the make of the car? There's one origami store in town. Oh man, he buys them from the store. Oh no, damn. The killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Oh, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. Right. I like how they use the map there. It is a bit tedious to to, to um to do that, but I like it. All right, I think we're done. Some cough medicine, quick. Here we go again. I better go wash my face. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. It's all right. I know I can make it. Oh, I feel like crap. I, I, I gotta hang on. I can beat this. Tripto. Is everything all right, sir? I'm FBI. He just leaves before we can answer. He's like, oh wait a sec, I don't no care. One to see. Here we go again. I better go wash my face. I, I gotta have it. I gotta j just this once. I need it. I, I'll feel better. All right, water on my face. I feel better now. This is a good transition. I like that. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, 
And when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... It told us that, didn't it? What was it? Uh, I don't know, 4.45, something like that. 4.45, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. Uh, it was beige. A beige coat. And a pair of pants. They were green. Green pants. How could Sean have disappeared without you even noticing? Weren't you right by the carousel? Stay on bench, stay carousel, little walk, can't remember. Stay on bench, stay carousel, stay carousel, shit. I went for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back, the carousel had stopped and Sean wasn't there. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? Searched. I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Where'd you get here? Anything that might have caused him to run away? You walked in last night, I guess? No. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? No. No, nothing in particular. All right, that's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do, do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. <laughs> Blake just doesn't give a shit. Blake's just like, fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> Did they find something? No, nothing yet. But they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say... But it is a possibility. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him! I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? She got a point, Ethan. I'm sorry. She's got a point. It's not what I meant to say. <laughs> I miss him so much. She's right, but the, but the whole the whole story is like is just fucking corrupt from the ground up because Jason's actions make no fucking sense. So it's like, yeah, Ethan, you fucked up, and it's like you got a big problem here. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And that's why he has the blackout. So it's not really his fault. But like, it's not really his fault that Jason died either because it's actually like it doesn't even make any sense. Like, it makes no fucking sense. Like, how did you lose him twice? How did he get so far far when he just turned around? Why did he go outside? Why did he cross the street? Why did he not look both ways when you cross the street back? Like, like the only answer is that you, it's shit parents and you didn't teach him. But even then, like, why? Why did he go out like that? It makes no fucking sense. <laughs> <laughs> How did he even die? Like...
Why didn't the psychiatrist be like, well, blackouts, that sounds serious. Hold on, when are these happening? Did this blackout happen when you're looking after your kid? Oh shit, well, as a doctor, I suggest that you don't look after your kid until we solve this problem. Come back for another emergency thing, go have a sit down. Like. Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Store's empty. Guess it's that time of day. Well, it's a good time for a quiet little talk. Guy behind the counter? Gotta suppose that's him. Let's look around first. Dun 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 dun. Whoa, what happened back here? Wow, look at all, all the assets in this store. God damn. Actually feels like like a real little shop. Nice. Oh, it's one of these pinwheel lollipop things. Nice. Greetings, fellow weep. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. Sympathize, leave, save Sean. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa. I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my Is son. Is one of those lines recorded in a different place? Like now. I mean, I do that all the time, but like. Please, to move along, sir. I'm one guy. All right, sympathize. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. Good evening, sir. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the register. Don't fucking try anything. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, are you deaf or what? Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. What did you say? Hey, you! <laughs> come here! I said, come here now! Don't move! Hands up! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! Are you deaf? I said, put your hands up! Bum, 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 I'm warning bum, you, bum, I'll bum, shoot! <laughs> if you don't raise your fucking hands right now, you're dead. I'm not joking, man, I'll blow your fucking brains out. Bum, 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 bum. Don't move, sir. I'll call for an ambulance. Oh, he's... <laughs> no, I'll be all right. <laughs> Bullet just grazed my shoulder. <sighs> Goddamn punk kid. Doesn't even know how to use a gun. Thank you for helping me. I don't know what would have happened without you. 
<laughs> so what? So what happened? Mr. <laughs> Fort. Well, the guy came in and he waved the gun at me. Okay, all right. And then there was this private detective that was in here at the same time. Okay, what happened? Well, he he got caught by the guy, so he came out. All right, and the guys with the gun told him, "Hey, put your hands up." And then the private detective put his hands up a little bit, and they put him down. And then and then the guy got mad. He said, "Do it," and he did it again. He put his hands up, and they put it back down again. And then, and then he did it a third time, and then the guy got mad and shot him, but he mostly missed, and then he left. He's like, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> when my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza. But maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Bum, 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 Mr. Bum, Shelby. Bum, bum. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. And I can see now that I was wrong. Oh no. Okay, I think I think there might be some nudity here. I can't remember properly, so here's your nudity warning. We play as this narcoleptic fuck now. She went to bed early. Okay. Oh man, the TV it's still on! Damn, the TV is the sky the color of the sky in Neuromancer. Alright, let's go. Dun 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 dun. Two forty seven AM. Always the same time. I shouldn't take those damn pills again. Wait, is this an actual voice actor? If I try to stay busy, it might actually help me get to sleep. Goddamn insomnia. I'm totally exhausted, but I just can't sleep. I really need sleep. How hard can it be to fall asleep? Uh, maybe I'll go to bed and give the sleep thing one more shot. A hot drink is what I need. A hot shower. That'll create the magic of sleep. Wait, can we, can we just go back to sleep and that's the end? Who would put, like... Oh, man. No kids ever come here. What the fuck is this shit? I would hit my shins off this so much. So much I would hit my shins off of this. Alright, let's just go, let's go back to sleep. It's done.
No, okay. What is this $4 million apartment? Well, if I remember correctly, she's a photographer, so she is, uh, you know, making the big bucks. Her footsteps sound like dripping water. Oh, is it a journalist? I thought she was a photographer, for real. For a shower. Wow, look at this bathroom. What the fuck? Wow, that's the biggest urinal I've ever seen. Holy shit. Do we have to strip? Can, can we just take a shower like this? Do, why do we have to strip? Oh my god. I think you have to do the shower, don't you? Don't you have to do the shower? Oh, okay. Alright. Banned. your naked for anything about her don't ask questions it's Dave Cage Nah, it's fine like if cyberpunk's okay then this is fine as long as the nudity is, is isn't the, the sole sole purpose of the game and you don't go like seeking it out you're fine all right there we go Oh, I guess we didn't have to do the shower. Alright, now I'm getting banned because we didn't have to do it. Damn, that's a better mirror than Cyberpunk. Look at that mirror, just, just there. Damn, alright. Oh, we could have had a shower in the dark. <gasps> I swear that shadow just moved. It's freaking me out. Girl, get a grip. The door's locked tight, and you're home alone. Do, 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 do. Let's go get a hot drink. Oh no! The sandwiches we left on a plate! Someone might eat them! The duck soup! The fridge door! I'm sure I closed it. Oh, come on, it, it couldn't have just opened on its own. 
I think I'm starting to be seriously scared. Look, going without sleep is driving me crazy. Get up, close the fridge door, go to bed, simple. How on earth did the fridge just open like that? <laughs> Get it together, girl. You probably just left it open by accident. Get it together, girl. Okay, girl, let's do it. All right, girl, let's do it. <sighs> Thank you, Great Baked Potato, for the 213 sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Palin Minerva, for the 313 sub. Thank you very much. And thank you, Harry Has 29 for the 913 sub. Interesting names. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Then your microwave is not even over the range. What are you doing? <sighs> There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. Okay, time to fail. The phone on the desk. Every QT. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. This whole scene is an excuse to show us that, but you, you have no idea how right that is. You will soon see that you had no idea how right you were. Oh no! Oh darn, oh, oh no, oh no, oh that didn't work that well, if only we hit the button. Oh, there she goes, all right. Oh no, darn. Oh no, oh, 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 we still got away. All right, cool, all right, cool. Oh, oh, this isn't going well. Oh, oh, it was just a dream, okay. Darn. Completely pointless. The whole scene. And that's it. Now, now we're done with her. Now we just... This my b-ball with this going on. Never gonna make the NBA now. That letter might be linked to Sean's disappearance. I need to show it to the police. This doesn't make any sense. It couldn't have been me. I couldn't ever have done that. I'm the origami killer. I black out <laughs> and then the murdering starts. <laughs> I know it's me. <laughs> the origami figure in my hand after my blackout. It's the same one the killer leaves in the hands of his victims. I've never done origami in my life. <laughs> Goddamn reporters. They've been camped outside my house all day. There's no way back for me if I've done anything to hurt Sean. I couldn't have hurt him. I love him. I love him with all my heart. But what in God's name did I do when he was on the carousel? I'd give anything to know where Sean is now. I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep a wink all night. What did I do with Sean? I, I must have done something, but I just can't remember. He, he opens it and he looks down and he's automatically turned into origami. Oh my god, I just can't stop doing origami. Oh no, keep all your paper away from me. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. <laughs> they searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all to no avail. 
The children have never been seen again. <laughs> well, the parents came home from church. All their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged, but it's all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. looks like the ticket to a locker. What does it mean? Some sort of fairy tale? The gnomes are the key. This angel on the ticket. I'm sure I've seen it somewhere before. Someone sent me that letter for a reason. I think I know where this ticket comes from. All right, let's go then. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. But first... Oh, someone stole- Oh no, the ball's here! Alright, here we go. Oh, we can't use it! Oh, it's serious. Oh, when he said he'd give ep he'd give anything to know where Sean is, he meant his NBA uh, uh, aspirations. Damn. Alright, are we not- are we not skipping out the back? Is that not what it is? No? We're, are we going this way? Alright, hop the sense. Alright, here we go. This voice actor is way worse than I remember. Yeah, me too. I don't remember it being this bad. But it's awful. It really is awful. Alright. Boom 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 boom. Oh man. Are you guys all here for that guy who lives Mr. Mars? Did your son disappear? Mr. Mars. Can you confirm that your son has disappeared? Your son is still alive? for raid. Thank you, politely asking for the former three sub. Thank you very much. Statue to come to life later. Again, with all the people. It's like they had the crowd setting and multiplied it. Like they're even walking into each other. Gonna. Gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't. Can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. The luggage lockers. I'm just not gonna make it. I'm tightening up. I can't go on. Maybe I could come back later. Oh shit! When there's less of a crowd. Oh shit! The tickets are origami okay. now. I can't oh my god! It. Too many people. Oh no! Too many people. <sighs> oh no! <laughs> kind of hard to do that like fast enough with your thumb okay let's use our fingers on the top all right rb lb there we go oh 
Oh no. Oh no. Origami. Oh, I folded him. I'm folding everyone. Jason, come back! You gotta be kidding. Jason! Jason, it's Jason. The balloon. Gotta get the balloon. Jason! Jason, Dad's here, son! Oh man, he's folding them all. He's like King Midas, but with origami. Everything he touches turns to origami. Oh no. Jason! <laughs> I have no memory of this scene whatsoever. None. The balloon. Gotta get the balloon. Jason! The balloon. Jason! Is that two of the same guy? Luggage lockers. Alright, we did it. We're here. A nightmare. The whole thing was just a fucking nightmare. Jason... Jason is dead. Made it. I made it. I managed <laughs> to get through the goddamn crowd. The lockers. Now I've got to find the right one. <laughs> they don't go together at all. Like... The lockers. Zero effort. Now I've got to find the right one. Zero effort to match them totally. Just nothing. Line 18, box number three. Alright, line 18, box number three. Alright, here we go. Line 18. Is anyone else here? Eighteen box number. No, go back. Go back. Go. Okay. Okay. Like now, turn. Just turn left. Why can't you just turn? Le Why can't you just turn? What the fuck? Okay. I'm pressing left. Why can't you just be normal? It's a shoe box. Oh shit, it's full of origami. Did I put this here? Damn, the Crossroad Motel. Nice. Do 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 do. Thank you, Tasty Goo, for the twelve twelve month reset. Welcome to the one year club, Tasty Goo. The box from the locker. What am I going to find inside? Wow, you didn't open it? I would have opened it immediately. A shoebox? What's the connection with Sean's disappearance? It's because you lose shoes all the time. I took a room in the first motel I saw. Gotta open it and find out what's inside. Am I the one who, who put this box in the locker? I don't remember. Go 
Gotta get my squats in. Oh, feel it in the back of the legs. Oh yeah, this is this is a good position. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, definitely good. Definitely good. Oh, all right, good. That, that was enough. What did the coat hanger say? We love what? Time to take a piss. My god, my dick's origami! Oh no! You didn't use soap, bro, so you just, like, just splashed all your piss germs in your face. Awesome. Looking good, Ethan. Yeah. You're nailing this. Alright, let's open the box. What's in the box? Then we'll go home and play origami in the blind forest. Here we go. Oh my god, what is it? Oh, it's a gun! An origami! Oh no! Okay, like, what if it was loaded, bro? Like, just... Awesome trigger discipline. Just just amazing. Incredible. Alright. Are you prepared to show courage to save, save your son? Joe's Garage and Parking Lot, 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. Oh man, what do the other ones do? What are the other ones? Let's open the other ones. No? Alright, that was that was great take, but let's do another one. Alright, just to make sure if I've going figures, each figure is a trial, each trial provides letters, the letters reveal an address. Alright, I'm sure like we could probably figure it out after maybe a couple. Alright. Alright, let's do another take of that, Sean. The camera loves you. Alright, okay, cool. Alright, now a fun one. Alright. So, like, I'm pretty sure that he would, like, he doesn't need to drown in that water, right? He's cold. He'd be dead in a couple hours, wouldn't he? Like, water just saps all the heat out of you. What if it stops raining? <laughs> You know what my my murder weapon is the weather, the most reliable. The killer is white. 
aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why it gives him an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? It builds up a profile of the killer and helps us understand the person we're looking for. It might have been useful if it was done earlier in this investigation. Continue, Jaden. There's a serial killer and they sent an FBI agent? Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he of lives. Kids? So he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And, and what size is this uh, zone? Got him. For the moment, about 10 square miles. Oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? Yeah. Got a better idea? It may not give us the address of the killer, but at least it's something to go on. <laughs> Blake, if you've got a better plan, I'm willing to listen. Don't be shy. I'm all ears. Click. <laughs> one detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, or the less time the victim has to live. Yeah, that's so it. So what's next? It is <laughs> There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. God damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. Blake, I've had just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what are you caught, huh? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! What, well, you think you can do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? Well, let me tell you something, pal. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. Clink. <laughs> your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. <laughs> How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, which they're off the in two hours. <laughs> Nathaniel Williams is our prime suspect. He's already been questioned, and he lives in the exact geoprofiling zone. Oh, <laughs> so... <laughs> no answer. We waste our time coming here. What? Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. Yeah, I'm on There's team nobody home. I'm on team Blake. <clears throat> oh man. There is now. Damn. I'm not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. But Blake, you are a cop. Oh, this is looking pretty fucking sus. Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. 
He was ranting and raving. He said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I'd come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. It's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. The guy's taking a break from reality. Uh, what? Hold up here in this crazy apartment. What? What? Well, no warrant. No problem for Blake. He thinks his badge entitles him to do whatever he wants. More crosses in the bag? Probably. Just came Good back. Good timing, from, Nathaniel. From Just the, the man we're store. looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Naaman Jaden, FBI. Naaman. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Why all the crucifixes? You afraid of something? Clearly not crucifixes. The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. You were arrested in a case where a child disappeared from a park. What exactly happened? I'm innocent. I have nothing to do with those murders. I was in the park because God spoke to me. I was arrested because I am the chosen one. That's all. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't. It's better just stand down and leave Blake to it. I've got to do something. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? Maybe Blake knows what he's doing after I can't all. Talk about it. You I guess Blake's trying to break him. But what good is a confession if he does? He orders you to go and find new prey. What's Blake he? looking for? He needs Why is he more pushing him over the more. edge? Blake, what are you doing? No, no. You mustn't mention him. You'll bring him here. The guy is terrified of Blake. He, he really thinks he's the Antichrist or something. The voice That's enough. Leave him alone. Long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop. Stop. That's enough. So you obeyed them. Carter, make them shit. stop. You, you took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? This doesn't give a oh. shit. He's... No. Stop. Stop. You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you going to confess, you bastard? Oh. You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, I shall you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! I... I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Do, 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 do. Are there any repercussions from that? Last time I did not shoot him. I remember that. There are certain big choices I remember doing. 
Susan Bowles, mother of the origami killer's latest victim. Maybe she knows something about the circumstances surrounding her son's death. Ah, asthma free for the moment, I'm loving it. Good old inhaler in my pocket, just in case. I am loving this. Ah, goddamn wound still hurting me. Need to keep my nose clean for a while. Huh. Oh, I know the baby's there. Why isn't the baby answering the door? No answer. Baby screaming inside. Not a promising start. Baby screaming and no answers? Don't like the look of this. Do, 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 do. Alright, back in the car. Looks like a dead end. Anybody home? This is Bowles. Doesn't seem to be anyone. What is this pose? Jeez. Parents today. Going out and leaving a poor little kid like that. Hmm. I don't know why, but I got a bad feeling about this. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, th those are very realistic, accurate thoughts. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Yeah, cool. Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute. That card. Come on, I have to search the house. Maybe it's not too late. This letter. Holy fuck. I hope she... I hope she hasn't... Hang on, baby. First, I gotta find Mama. Mrs. Bowles? Mrs. Bowles, are you there? I'm pressing down. I'm pressing down. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Mrs. Bowles! Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Wake up! Wake up! Oh, yeah, beg her out of the bathtub before the water makes her freeze to death. Uh -huh. Okay, do we really not put her on the bed? Yeah, we do, okay. I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah. I think so. Okay. Don't move. What? I'll be right back. Ooh. Looking good, Shelby. Let's see. I need this, and this, and this. 
did he just take regular fucking bandages there? Like, okay, that's gonna be fun. I wanna see how this goes. Alright. I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be alright. I'll take care of you. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? Stay with me. Okay, come on. That is a very tiny hand and wrist. What? Do you put bandages over bandages yeah, like that? Yeah, I don't can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily, the wounds aren't too deep. I don't know enough about hey. first aid. How are you feeling? Okay. My baby. My baby needs me. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Do you know what to do? With a baby, I mean. Yeah, how hard could it be? I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Emily. Gotcha. Why is that our thought? Mommy will live for now. Whoop. Let's see how Junior's doing. Now there's blood on the faucet. No one uses soap in this world. Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell? I got a pretty good idea. Yeah, you wouldn't have had to go that close to smell it. Okay, how do you do this again? Hmm? Why isn't the baby trying to scratch his face? What's this? Where's the flailing and kicking right into your face? What? What the? There you go, fresh new baby. <laughs> that should feel better. Right, Emily? No wipes, nothing? Hmm? Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. No, oh, there's room now. Why is she crying? I'll ask Susan. She'll know what to do. No. Of course. Now I know why you're crying, my little peachy poo. Mother Shelby to the rescue. Why is she crying? I'll ask Susan. She'll know what to do. Let's just get this bottle of ready-made formula that's just sitting out and isn't in the fridge. And like, I guess I better warm this thing up. No, you need to replace it. It might have been sitting out forever. No, what? Do 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 All right, make sure it's not too hot. You have to put some on your forearm, bro. You can't just like feel it through the glass and be like, yeah, that's fine. Bro. Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Huh? You hold on. I'll just tilt this bottle a little bit. So you don't choke. Okay. Don't choke. Oh! 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's how long that takes. Yeah, okay. More like that should be the next 30 minutes. What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay, all right. Oh, no. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll rock it down a notch. Oh, no. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'll rock it down a notch. Shot! Right. That's about the limit of my maternal powers. Poor kid. Life ain't gonna be easy for her. Thanks for looking after my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. Can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe, maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Ooh. Did he leave a note or something? He left the house without a word, and there was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah. My mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself, and Emily. I will, I promise. Pretty cute onesie. I like the onesie.
Oh well, not my problem. Do do do. Thank you, uh, Kali Doggo, for the 100 bits. And thank you, The Swaggle, for the six month resub. Thank you, Kali Doggo, and thank you, The Swaggle. So in Fahrenheit, it was called Fahrenheit because, you know, it gets cold. And then here it's called Heavy Rain because the rain falls down and kills someone. So I'm guessing in Beyond Two Souls, you get a third soul at some point. And then in Detroit Become Human, someone becomes human. Like, I titled my shit on the nose, too, but mine was, like, like just, you know, pulpy genre fiction, not, you know, art house video game. Why are we here? Hey, am I the origami killer? Excuse me? Oh, well, Can't I stop tried. thinking about that well. Sean seemed exhausted. But at least he's alive. I'll do anything to get him out of there. I guess this is where the origami clue sent us. Maybe he flashed it while I was saying thank the you. The parking lot ticket in the origami figure there leads to this garage. What am I going to find here? Hey! Oh! Huh! Sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? <laughs> I'd like to get... my car. Hey, Have you're a pretty before? patient guy, you are. Don't remember that it. The car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and checked the tires and batteries, just like you said. Do you want to see some ID? It's the third floor down. The service elevator is at the Whoa, far end of the, the car. A car? There. Why am I being sent to look for a car? You want them, they'll be right over there. Now, you have yourself a good one, Chief. Oh, did, did we break him? Car's been here for two years. What does that mean?
LFR again. This was planned out two years in advance. Your destination is four miles from here. Leave the parking lot and take the first right. How's the background check? Oh, they took it out once a month to make sure Take it worked. Take the left at the next intersection. Keep to the right and take the first exit. Pretty implausible though, like, this was set up this far advanced, the GPS is still working, you know. Stop my hands shaking. I'm not going to make it. I'm I'm not gonna make it. Sure. I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangman. It's my only lead. No turning back now. Go the wrong way on the highway for five miles? Am I willing to take that risk in order to save my son? A lot of good it'll do Sean if I kill myself on this highway. Like, this would just, just, you just die immediately, right? Fuck I've it, we're doing it. Do it. We're doing for it. For Sean's sake. For Sean's sake. I have it. no choice. Here we go. Wrong way! Come on! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh no! Oh oh no! Oh no! Oh oh, this is going bad! Oh no! Do this! Come on! Oh oh no! Oh oh, good job, Ethan! All right, good. All right, cool. All right. Oh no! Oh, correct it, correct it! No, you can do it! You can do it! Come on, you can do it! I believe in you! Alright, you did it! Alright, good, good job, Ethan. Good job. Uh, I did that one! I helped! I helped! I did one! Alright. Oh no! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Oh, you're fine! Okay, good. You have not reached your destination. Oh, that guy's dead. Get out! Run! Run! Oh, that was close. What do you mean that went wonderfully?
only we hadn't talked to ourselves in the car before we did it. What does the S flashing symbolize? Or does it just stand for symbolism? Oh, they have color TV, nice. What if we had went to the garage like really late at night and there was no one on the highway? Took a piss. You impressed? Hey. Hello there, sweetheart. What can I do for you? I'd like a room. For you? Anything. Feeling the register. Madison Page 27, single. Good. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. That's for sure. Damn. That obnoxious receptionist better not have a spare key to my room. The thought of it leaves me in a cold sweat. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. So what are the rooms on the bottom? Zero? Oh, they are. Oh, okay. Room 201. Stairs on the right, last floor. There's someone there. Is he, is he wounded? Sir? Are you alright? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. I got all the way up here, but then I was like, no, nope, that's as far as I go. Use first floor or ground floor in Canada? I think we use both interchangeably. All right, two of five. Oh, we're here. Okay. Have you got the key? No. him first and ask questions later. He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. Look, it's none of my business. I'll just leave him there and tell the receptionist. He doesn't want to go to the hospital. Why? He's really out of it. 
What the hell happened to him? Do, 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 do. God damn it, why? You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. Must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. <laughs> but it's sore as hell. It's <sighs> so hot. Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. I should disinfect his cuts. Yeah, that's something we should do. All right, what else is here? Oh, we can only do it one at a time. Oh, fantastic. All right. Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. All right. Do not take more than one pill every 24 hours. All right, don't, do not take with alcohol. Here you go, have one of these. We're gonna do this one here. at a time. Take this. It should do you what some good. It? Don't ask questions. It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. He's already taken it, all right. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. Three. I can't afford to wait. All right. Suddenly Canadian. Oh, they're on the they're on the, the table now, the bed now. Okay, cool. All right. Paraphenol anti-fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. All right, let's give that to him too. Here you go. Here, take this. Do you have a fever? Here, take this. It should do you some good. What is it? It'll help bring down the fever. But I'm, uh, not running a fever. Oh. Okay, I'll <laughs> see if I can find anything else. <laughs> How do you know? No, you are. All right, what's the other one? Necofrin 100 antibiotics. Administer to combat infection. Yeah, you should take this for sure. Here you go. What is this hotel medicine cabinet? Here. Take this. It should do you some good. What is it? It's an antibiotic. An antibiotic? I'm no doctor, but I don't think there's any risk of infection with a broken rib. Okay, I'll see if I can find anything else. Uh, yeah, probably not. But can't, can't, can't the blood go kind of like, yeah, I think maybe, yeah. I should disinfect his cuts. I don't know. I'm going to disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. Sorry. Are you okay? S sorry. I'll try to be more careful. Listen, thanks for your help, but I think I can take it from here. Right. I better go. By the way, I'm Ethan. Madison. They're gonna fuck it, aren't they? Of course they are! What do you- what, what game do you think you're playing right now? Of course they are! You're not playing anything. What do you mean? You're watching. That's just pretty much what I'm doing. All right, here we go. <laughs> just open them all, Ethan. What the fuck? 
Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? The old power plant on em Embark... Okay. Thank you, Char, for the new sub. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Crunchy7, for the 3 month resub. Fun name to say. And thank you, Durkashid, for the 28 month resub. Thank you, 24 Frames of Nick, as well, for subbing right now. Thank you very much. Welcome, 24 Frames of Nick. Interesting name. All right, I don't remember this one. Damn, remember when we killed a guy? Was that the first time? Sorry? First time you killed somebody. It always does something to you the first time. Then you get used to it. If you hadn't acted like that with a guy, it wouldn't have happened. So back off! Click. <laughs> That's him. <gasps> no, wait, wait, wait! I remember this! All right, here we go. This is Here's gonna be fun. Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. All right, time to put the controller down. Here we go, controller's on the Shit, floor. don't just stand there, he's gonna get away. Stop that guy! <laughs> hey man, watch it, dude. <laughs> hey, what's the matter with I don't know how it keeps going when you put your hand. Be careful, right? <laughs> hey, watch it, man! Hey, watch it! Watch it. Oh. Oh, oh shit, we went too fast. <laughs> We lost him. Shit. Where is he? Shit, I lost oh, him. Oh, no. I'm gonna put out an APB. That son of a bitch won't get far. Oh, man. Miss the chicken? Should we, should we, uh... Should we load it again and, and succeed in one of them to keep going? Hold on, let's see. Can we do chapter select? Hold on, back to main menu. We could probably do that, right? All right, yeah, last save will be lost yet. Here we go, here we go. All right, so load, chapters. Covered market. Fucking hell, man. All right, so we go back down here. All right, here we go. Yeah, save your progress. Yeah, here we go. All right, so we need to do like what one or two or or what? One every so often. Every fourth one, every third one. Was that the first time? Sorry? First time you killed somebody. It 
It always does something to you the first time. Then you get used to it. If you hadn't acted like that for the guy, it wouldn't have happened. So back off! <laughs> That's him. Miroslav Korda? Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Sure. Oh. Oh. Shit, don't just stand there, he's gonna get away! Alright, one. Stop that guy! Hey man, watch it, dude! Ah. Two. Hey, what's the matter with you? <laughs> Three. Oh shit, did we miss him again? Shit, oh no! No! What? Oh god damn it, man! I'm gonna put out an APB. Still like no chicken! Alright, let's try again. Is there a restart? Restart. Alright, restart. This is the stream, everybody. This is the stream. Alright, load. Covered market. Alright, here we go. Continue. Continue. Miroslav Korda? Yeah? Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh. <sighs> All right, third time's the charm. Don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. All right. Ah. Boom. Hey man, watch it, ah. dude. Boom. <sighs> Boom. <sighs> Boom. Uh. Hey. Honestly, it's still not that much better, huh? <laughs> hey, watch it, man. Hey, watch Oh, it. that's the buttons up top, yeah. is freezing. My hands are numb. Come on. Show your ugly bastard face. No way he's escaping. I'm gonna get that bastard. Where the fuck is Blake? Shit! Where'd he go? I can't see anything here. Oh. 
That was failing? Oh no! Oh, we're going down! Oh no! Are we dead? Oh, Blake, help us! Blake, what are you doing? Thank you, Blake. Merry Christmas. All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars, the kid who disappeared. I've seen the parents of all the victims, and all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. I can't breathe this goddamn humidity. Hope it stops raining soon. <sighs> Down the hatch. Asthma medication says do not take with alcohol. Well, and that's where my story ends. Why doesn't Shelby get a shower scene? Let's go. What is this fridge? Nuggets. Nuggets in the fridge? Alright. Time to drink some teriyaki sauce. Just down the hatch. That's the kind of man I am. With my sandwich just on the grill. It's not even on a plate. It's just like, it's just in there. Alright. Right to page three. All right, put it down. Looking good, Shelby. Are we in the break? I don't think so. I think we'll go for another like 10 minutes. So if this scene is short, I can't remember, then we'll do the next scene and then we'll be done. If this scene is super long, then this will be the last scene for today. And then we should be able to finish tomorrow, maybe with a slightly longer stream. Looking 
good, Shelby. All right, let's go back. Oh yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow Saturday. I'm sorry. Uh, Tuesday. No stream tomorrow. All right, am I not gonna be able to make it in time because I just so happened to be going into the bathroom when this thing happened? All right, where's the intercom? Oh. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. What Can I remember? come in? Sure. 50 bucks on the table. I'm not into any weird shit. You want a drink? Yes, glass of water, please. Take a seat, I'll get it. Do you want, do you want, how much teriyaki sauce do you want it? A lot or a little or, or what? Thanks. Didn't really expect to see her again. Wonder what she wants. I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, Where's I don't know why, but I the envelope. It was mailed in the Carnaby district. The day before Johnny disappeared. Wait, that's where Ethan keeps going. No sender. Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. <laughs> Well, thanks for your help, Lord. <laughs> well, let me know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. <laughs> Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. Diplomatic. There's nothing you can do to help, Lauren. It's not a good idea. Believe me. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. Listen, an investigation like this is dangerous. And I don't have time to play the bodyguard. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lauren. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. Do, 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 do. Is this is this the scene where uh with the fingerprints? Or does that come later? Oh, this is the party, okay. Maybe you better stay in the car. 
partners, remember? Wherever you go, I go. What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. Stupid to bring Lauren. I don't do partners too well. All that just to get my hands on that stupid envelope. The security guard earned his payoff. Seems there really is a party going on tonight. Security all over the place. I would say Gordy's just a little bit paranoid. Where the big mistake has Reese's Cup for four months. Is it playing this game? Is that the big mistake? Thank you, Reese. I'm having a pretty good time though. It's, Kramer it's, must it's be fun. loaded. What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? We'll shiny discuss crap. Kramer's decor another time. Are we gonna be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm gonna go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back. Okay? Okay. Oh man, this Let me know if you need me. This guy's sleeping in the pool. Hey everyone. Hmm. Not gonna be easy to find Gordy behind that big wall of paid gorillas. Booze, babes, and coke. Gordy Kramer seems to be quite the party animal. Hey. Good looking girl. Keep your mind on the job, Scotty. Okay. Gotta find Gordy Kramer. I don't know why they have that goddamn music so loud. Can't hear myself thinking here. Well, I'm here. Might as well have a drink. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Hi! Great party, huh? <laughs> what the fuck? Hi! Hey, he's here. I haven't seen you. Well, let's get better acquainted, pal. <laughs> oh, you're my kind of guy. I like you. <laughs> my friend. I, I like you. Maybe this job does have its perks. Now I got me a new friend. I haven't seen Lauren for a while. Better see what she's up to. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. Hi, I'd like to see Gordy. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Look, you just tell him that Scott Shelby wants to speak to him. Okay? You're starting to piss me off, man. Now beat it before I get angry. If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm going to have to go about it some other way. Those two goons and me seeing Gordy don't mix. I'm going to have to think of another way to get rid of him. Maybe bust a few heads? Yeah, tempted. But not such a good idea. Too many goon-shaped reinforcements around here. Okay, got to find Gordy Kramer. Thank you, uh, Vonder, for the 1,500 bits. That's a shit ton of bits. Thank you so much, Vonder. Have you seen Gordy? Sorry, no. Whiskey straight up, no ice.
how do we get through the guy? I don't know, like some sort of sneaking thing or something? I don't know. What are those? Hey, man. You think you could help me out? Do I look like a dealer? Get out of here! Well, you're wearing a big trench coat and it's got blood on it and you have a gunshot, so like maybe a little bit. Like just a little. Like not definitive, but you know. Well, this is worth it. Hi, I'm looking for Gordy. You know where he is? I saw him a while back, but you'll be lucky to see him. He rarely hangs out down here with his guests. Oh, really? Why bother throwing a party then? Why don't you go ask? Yeah, he doesn't have his guests, that's what he just said. Alright, is there a door I'm missing somewhere? Do we have to find our partner? Finding someone who isn't smashed or doped up to the gills would be a miracle. And I need one right now. Okay, gotta find Gordy Kramer. So I go back outside and go around? No, all right. Where did Lauren go? Oh, is she right there? Oh, she blends in, okay. So did you find Gordy? He's upstairs. We've got two goons blocking the way. Do you want me to handle them? Yes. <laughs> hey, what are you gonna do? Knock them out with a pair of high heels? Leave it to me. Just be ready to go as soon as they leave the stairs. <laughs> Wait, Lord. That was close. We gotta get her out of here. Well. floor <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Mr. Kramer? Shh, this is the best part. <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! Oh, you're talking to them. What do you want? Factual, accusing, accusing. A witness saw little Joseph Brown get into your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. Now what I want to know is what really happened. You know, just so I make sure that you had nothing to do with the origami killer. Do I make myself clear? The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Aggressive, Skept skeptical. I don't know why, but your story just doesn't check out. You're giving me the crap now. Tell me something I can believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. Garmi. I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of Having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! What? <laughs> 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 Did he just bounce his own <laughs> fist off of our heads? It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. John! <laughs> I have no memory of that. Ooh, here we go. It's electric puzzles arm. I remember getting stuck here for a little bit when I first played. Because it's something dumb. I think it was something like... I, I didn't think you could go through some electrified parts or something like that. Like, 
something like that. I don't know. Anyway, that's it. We're done. Uh, it is. Uh, we've been live for four hours and twenty-two minutes, and um, I think we should be able to finish it on Tuesday. Maybe we have to go a little bit longer. If we're nowhere near the ending when we get to four hours, then we'll do three streams. But I think we should be able to finish on Tuesday. So that's it. Uh, thank you again to 24 Frames of Nick for 500 bits, and thank you again to Avander for the generous bit donation. Thank you very much. And thank you everyone to everyone else who gave bits and, uh, and sub during the stream. Um, I will see you on Tuesday. Have a good uh, weekend, everybody. And uh, if you're, you know, gone next week, uh, Merry Christmas. Hope you have a good Christmas. Hope you're enjoying Heavy Rain so far. The rain has stopped, the sun came out, what a beautiful day to take my family out to the mall. Then we split up, my wife takes Sean to get some shoes for his feet, and that's really sweet. But I got Jason, I got Jason. Oh wait, no, where did he go? He was standing right here My wife's gonna kill me Jason, where did he go? You got me searching high and low My heart is racing Press X to Jason I'm walking around Then I see a clown And next to him is my little boy so I bought him a toy, he's selling balloons Jason wants a red one So I shell out two single dollar bills Then Jason runs for the hills My wife just spotted me He really then does so, he does! Her, our son is gone, then I'm on the hunt again Press sex to Jason Jason So small. Oh hey, I see a red balloon. Oh no, that's not my kid at all. Then I walk outside to see Jason crossing the street. How could he have walked that far? Then Jason is killed by a car. Standing right here, my wife's gonna kill me.